Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do something a little different today. We got the scooter. We're going to scoot up to a historical site in Benazette, Pennsylvania, about an hour and a half away from the house. Look at something cool. There's an old jet engine testing facility, a uh, bunker complex, something or other that's been abandoned up there. And, uh, well, we got a day off. So let's hop on the scooter and, and see, see what we got going on. Well, we're about two hours in. V and I made it to the trailhead. Supposedly, this is a road. So, I don't know how far back we gotta walk, but we gotta start walking. So, we'll see how it goes. It's crazy to think that this was a road at one point. You can still see some of the old asphalt. I mean, we're in the middle of BFE on this one. But, uh, we're just going to keep walking straight ahead. And hopefully we don't run into any critters. It is so unbelievably beautiful back here. Walking on this, this old road. You can see it's just woods as far as you can see. But, uh. Looks like we're coming up to a little clearing up here. It's not a bad walk. Maybe a quarter mile, something like that. It's uh it's crazy how much history you can have pretty much in your own backyard. And central Pennsylvania is littered with old mil military installations, bunkers. Uh, if you look back into western Pennsylvania during the war, and western Pennsylvania was just a, an industrial giant, and more so than just the steel mills, which is what everybody remembers Pittsburgh for. But um, just manufacturing. I used to work in a machine shop that... The building was owned by Carnegie Mellon in the early 40s, and it had a collider, and it, it was part of the, the nuclear program, and they had used 20-some millimeter lead shells in the wall as installation, like, you know, shielding. It's, uh, the world around us just has so much history. We, you know, we just have to look. And, you know, it's crazy. You know, you walk through here and you think, in 100 years, 70 years, whatever it's going to be, what are we going to leave behind? You know, and that's something that I don't think we think enough about. You know, it's, I don't know. It's just, it's crazy to think about all the things that, that we may leave behind. And someone like me is going to be exploring something we built in the middle of the woods, you know, to hide it. You know, maybe one day uh, Roswell, you know, Area 51 will be a freaking tourist attraction, you know, but <laughs> it's just kind of crazy to think about. But history is important. History repeats itself. And it's, it's good to remind ourselves where we came from and the lessons that we learned when we did it. You know, this, this will be, this is more than just a, sorry, I thought I heard a critter kind of scared me for a second because why would I bring a knife or something to protect myself walking in the woods because I'm a freaking idiot. But like, look at this. Look what's left of this road. You know, this road's probably 70 years old. But it, it's good to, to remind ourselves of history. And try not to make the same mistakes of our forefathers. Because... You know, whether, whether you think it or not, 
someone somewhere has already done it at some point in history. Nothing we do from this point forward is really new. You know, we went to the moon in the 60s. We, you know, we're flying. Someone somewhere has already done the exploring. Wow, we really opened up here. I mean, I think we're getting close here. The road's really opened up. And it looks like we're getting to an intersection of some kind. I don't really know what to expect. I've only seen pictures and I kind of did this little trip on a whim. So we're just going to hike our our butts back here and see what we can find. Man, it is so beautifully quiet back here. Like another road or a trail or something. Of course, you know, you got people coming back here spraying. Really? Now, yeah, why? Well, nothing really surprises me, I guess. All right. Well, there's something back here somewhere so let me do some digging see if I can find it so there's a concrete pad here that kind of has a little ramp going down into a small pond I think this is where they ran the engines at there is a building over in the woods over there we'll make our way back around to but uh, that would make sense to me that they would run the engines into the water or the thrust into the water. Uh, looks like some tractor tracks back here or ATV or something. So we got a little road off to the side here. We'll walk around, see what we can find. Yeah, there's really not much back here. Just looks like a little storage a lot. But if you look way over there, right there, there's some old concrete. So that was used for something. That's all open in here. There's another little piece of asphalt right there. I'm assuming there were some other buildings in here at one point. I'm really just trying to make sure there's no critters going to sneak up on me. <laughs> we are in bear country, so that would that'd be a kind of an embarrassing way to end it, wouldn't it? Get mauled by a freaking bear on your day off. That would kind of suck. Let's not do that today. So I'm going to very carefully kind of make my way over. And hopefully scare nothing. Yeah, there's something. So you got the pond down there, the pads here. This pad, you have anchor bolts here. Could have been for like a little pavilion over it. But then there's this giant block right here and some old piping. 
Yeah, that's a test stand. I'm betting you. I'm betting you. I'm right on that. We can make our way over here. Get a better look at that. See the block here. Yeah, this is a test stand. Kind of an ominous looking building, don't you think? It looks like it's all boarded up. Look at that lovely graffiti. I'm going to poke around and see if I can't make my way in. Okay, so the little footpath on the way in leads up here to the building. There's the door. Not really much else around here. Kind of afraid to look in there. Eh, there wasn't anything in it. Just a bunch of graffiti. It's a shame that people feel the need to do that. There is a few other sites kind of in this little complex. If you get on the Googles there and kind of do some satellite searching, you can figure out where we're at. But um, the place is pretty cool. I can... I can picture myself here back in the, the early 50s, just at the dawn of the jet age. The, the rumor is that the nuclear-powered jet engines were tested here. Uh, if you get on the interwebs, it's, oh, they just tested jet engines or they did this. Eh, I'm going to believe that they tested the, the nuclear ones here. Which is super cool. And, you know, this is a part of history. We wouldn't be where we're at today. But, uh, everywhere you look, there's a, like a piece of concrete or possibly an old foundation back in there. It's just quiet. Can't even hear a road. The uh, ironically enough, the noise that I was listening to earlier was a jet going overhead, and it's so quiet out here that it was alarming. So. Well, we're going to start making our way back to the bike and kind of seeing what else we can get into. Thanks for watching.